Hello, welcome to Meet and Make. My name's Teresa Easton. Today I'm going to show you how to make a paper kite. When I was younger, I used to use a carrier bag on a piece of string as a kite. You might want to look at Nigerian artist Ifoma Anwiji's sculpture and see how she's reused plastic carrier bags in her sculpture. So, what you will need to make your kite. Some scissors. You might want something to colour your paper if you're just using blank paper. Definitely sellotape, that's really important. You might want some card to wrap your string round or your thread, a bit of cardboard would be fine. Definitely a bin liner or a pedal bin liner. Something to make holes with. I'm going to use a hole punch. Um, if you've got an adult helping you, you might be able to use something called an awl. Pencil, make sure you've got a pencil. Some string or some thread. You could even use paper wise, you could use some blank paper or you could use a page from a magazine. So these are the things that you're going to need. You're going to need to draw a pentagon shape. It's got six sides to it. Your kite needs to be symmetrical. So it needs to be exactly the same on both sides. You could practice making this shape with a piece of paper. Now my piece of paper, what I've done is I've folded it in half and I've drawn half a pentagon. If I, draw, if I show it this way, look, it looks a bit like the roof of a house. So draw half of your pentagon and then cut it out. And this will mean, hopefully, that it'll be completely equal on both sides. Now you might want to use a ruler when you draw um, these lines here. You could just use something with a straight edge. And if I open it out, that should be a perfect pentagon shape. Now you've got your perfect pentagon shape, there's one thing we need to do just to turn it into a kite. We just need to snip these pointy bits off here and you'll see why in a little see why in a little while. Now you've got your blank piece of paper, you could choose to decorate it and use whatever you have to hand. You can decorate both sides. But what I'd like to do is to use a page out of the magazine. And I'm going to use the shape that I was left over with as a stencil so I can just draw the shape of the pentagon round there. And then that will be much easier to cut out. And it'll also give me an idea of what my kite's going to look like. Okay. So if you've decided to use the page of a magazine or a newspaper even, cut out your pentagon shape. And don't forget, we have to snip these end bits off, these pointy bits, just a little bit, just a few millimetres so that it's straight to that end. And now what we have to do is turn this into a kite. And let's start by taking some sellotape and the, these end bits that we've cut off, we need to put a couple of pieces of sellotape just over, over those bits of paper there. And the reason we need to do that is because that's where the hole is going to go for your string or thread to be tied through and if we didn't use any sellotape it would mean the paper would rip quite easily so smooth that down and then take whatever you're going to use to make a hole and put a hole through the paper and through the sellotape and do that on both sides okay our next task is to get some thread about 60, 70 centimetres long and you have to take the end of the thread and loop it through a hole and tie a knot. Now the knot has to be quite loose. I'm going to let my paper sit on the table, it'll be easier to knot. It doesn't have to be a tight knot, quite a loose knot. The most important thing is that it's a very, very strong knot. 
Now I usually use um, I usually use something called a granny knot or a reef knot where you thread it through and it's almost like tying your shoelaces except you don't put a bow in and you do right over left and left over right. So that's quite a nice tight knot and I've already done one there on that side so you can see it's quite loose, it doesn't have to be really tight. Then the next thing we do is we take thread and I'm just going to pull those, put, put those two holes together and pull the thread nice and taut so I get a little loop at the end and then about two fingers length along I'm going to tie another knot in that loop just like that, that's perfect that's beginning to look a bit like a kite now and then on a piece of card I've tied some more thread round and I'll take the end of that thread and tie it through this little loop so that's what I'm going to use to control the kite when it's flying now this does need to be a nice good strong knot again I'm going to use a granny knot so it's left over right, right over left nice and strong, give that a good pull okay now it's beginning to look really good the last thing we need to do is on the bottom bit, the longest edge, sorry, the shortest edge here, we need to have something to tie to sort of catch the wind. So what I'm going to use is a bin liner, either a bin liner or a pedal bin liner, but some kind of plastic bag that's really thin because that'll catch the wind beautifully and if we open it up we're going to turn these into tails so you just cut them here you've got one tail and then I can open it up again and then have another tail so we glue those or sellotape that I'm going to use I think I might do it on that side to the bottom of the kite and you can use you know whatever you have lying around anything that's nice and lightweight that's going to catch the wind yeah brilliant so we're now ready to take this outside to see if it works you can use lots of different things to make your kite with you can use coloured paper and glue and stick those down. You could use old pieces of leaflets, um, newspapers, magazines and glue them down onto a piece of paper and then cut out the shape of um, a pentagon and turn that into a kite. Well I hope that you have lots of nice sunny windy weather to do this with. Enjoy your kite flying.